of Lee's. So I just finished my workout. First day back in the gym after my holidays. So it's Monday today. I've just posted today my holiday video, the tour of the hotel. So I hope you enjoyed that. Oh, I'm still out of breath. It wasn't so hard got coming back because I've worked out a few times that on holiday, which I'm glad I did because it would have killed me today. <laughs> and it doesn't help that it's so hot, it's 32 degrees. It's been, I can't remember last summer like this in the UK. I think they say that it's the hottest and longest summer since 1976 or something like that. So yeah, it's been very hot. I am all sweaty and disgusting. I, um, I have bought two pairs of um, new sunglasses. Um, I forgot to show you. These ones, these ones are the Chloe, oh god, I forgot the name of it, but they are, oh, is it me, um, can't remember, I will put it down in the description box, uh, but there are two styles of this, this type, so the first one are those really round ones, completely round ones, and these are aviator style, so, um, yeah, I will leave to leave you the link in the description box so I bought these there was like 30% off so I got a quite a good deal and I thought I haven't bought any designer sunglasses since God last time I bought some it was two years ago I bought the Tom Ford Colette and oh my god why people not looking uh, Colette and Miranda so I thought, and I really love them, they are so, so light. I must say that um, the Tom Ford Miranda are probably least comfortable. They just don't sit that well on my nose, they keep falling forward. Colette are okay, but these are so comfortable and I love them being that big. I also bought, um, I'll show you in a minute, I changed them another pair and these are uh, not that expensive. Uh, they are cheaper in the US, of course. These are the um, Thomas James. They come in these really lovely cases. And these are like the best sunglasses, I would say, if you go on holiday to wear by the pool because they are so delicate and so light um, that you won't even feel them. So I changed them in a minute and I will show you. So these are the Thomas James. These are sort of browny lenses, but as you can see, they don't have any frames and the arms are so delicate and thin. And these ones, you can't really feel them. And I really like um, how the world looks through them, if you know what I mean. So yeah, I'm really happy with these two pairs. So I haven't talked to you about uh, my Q&A video that I did with my husband. Uh, I'm so sorry that I haven't responded to any of those um, comments, but I did say under that video that I wouldn't because I was on holiday when these two videos came out and you know, it's such a backlog now, but I sort of skimmed through them and read them. So thank you so much for all your comments and you, you seem to really enjoy it. And you said they would love to see me do more videos with Paul. So I don't know, maybe um, maybe we could do like a husband and wife Q&A. So anything to do with husband and wife, you need to let me know. And if I get enough requests, then at some point I will ask, um, ask you to leave me some questions for that. Okay, my lovelies, I will go now because I still need to catch my breath. Hi, everyone. Uh, so today I just wanted to show you a few things. Um, my hair is looking a bit messy. Um, I did my hair with the Irresistible Me Automatic Curler and I have reviewed it for you. So I will leave you the link to it and my video in the description box. So. I slept on it. This is the second day I just woke up like this. I didn't even touch it or brush it. Just 
Juge de Ab. Um, I'm wearing a dress which you might remember I bought last summer. It's just a, I quite like it. Um, it was from ASOS. It was ASOS on. It's just a short, cool dress. It's so hot here. So this dress is not available anymore. Um, you often ask me about things that I wear or have on me that are not in the description box. Most of the time it is because it's something old that is no longer available. The same for the earrings. These are, I think, Sheila Fajul, but they were a, a gift from a friend two years ago. So, um, okay, I wanted to show something. I've just bought the Dior... Uh, forever undercover foundation so I've reviewed this for you I had samples two samples I had the color O uh, to one and O three O um, so the O to one was good for me before I had tan right now I really really like this one the O three O and this one is neutral whereas the O O21 I think yeah if you have one on the end of each number this is more yellow in color if you've got zero after the number that's neutral and I'm lucky enough that I have I reckon a, a neutral undertone so I can go it's neutral but leaning towards warm so I can use anything warm and anything neutral I cannot wear cool um undertone foundation pink ones they just don't do not suit me um the reason i went for neutral as well is that if you go for if i go for a darker color to match my tan uh, the warmer foundations can look a bit too yellow and make you look sallow so this looks more like tan let me just show you i do really like this foundation and this is um oh squeezed loads i like the packaging it's not um it's just plastic but that's so great as well for traveling and it's just squeezable tube and look how much i squeeze that is so much where am i gonna put it now yes yeah, so that's the color so as you can see it's quite neutral and um it matches my skin pretty well right now i might as well use some to perk up my makeup i've got i've got this foundation on today but of course i um top it up with laura mercier mineral powder as well so yeah so this is the 030 so i bought that um i also had some things in my p.o box before i went on holiday but of course i had no time to show you them i got some more masks from solista and do you remember i think first time i had them sent to me in one of those hampers and i absolutely love them i actually used one i had that one uh, i put that one on yesterday this super hydration it is a quick 20 minutes facial i really like the quality of the mask um so what you do with this mask when you take it out of the packaging it has on both sides like a protective film so you take the protective film put it on your face and then take the film from the front of the mask and it looks almost it's almost invisible it's like silicone so it's not like some of those um cheaper masks they just uh, look a bit like paper if you know what i mean like a piece of fabric this feels to me a bit more silicone it smells gorgeous because it's all i think they always have that one is with coconut um so i did that last night before i went to bed and i didn't know that they also do hand and foot masks so i've got here rosy hands uh, which is instant manicure double layer hand treatment infused with bulgarian rose complex so I have to use that and then the, I've got a foot one, rosy toes, which is um, double layer foot treatment infused with rose oil, aloe vera and beeswax. So yeah, I didn't know that they did um, hand and foot masks. And I have here correct and calm, brightening and charcoal detox. I haven't um, tried that one yet. I want to, oh, have I tried that one? I might have tried it when I 
I got it first time, I can remember. So I think this one is like really blacked out. I probably haven't. But anyway, yeah, I um, I love this mask. So, and I also really like the packaging. They are really fun. So I got that. I also got um, a, a package from Benefit. I got the Hello Happy Soft Blair Foundation. But the best thing about it is how personalized they made it. So it comes in here. And can you see they've got like my photos which they obviously got from my Instagram and I thought that was so beautiful. I've really wanted to try this foundation. The only problem is this is uh, number three, which it would be definitely too light for me right now. I reckon I'm about six. Um, I'm about six, let's compare it to this one. I think uh, the Hello Happy um, foundations are all neutral undertones, so I don't know how that works yeah this is very very light so I can't really try it right now can you see if you compare it um, unless what I could do yeah look how <laughs> how light that is it's making me look ashy and um, what I might do uh, we can buy here like a tiny size of the hello happy foundation so maybe if I go and buy the six I can then try it and review it for you um, and then keep that one for when I'm lighter in the winter but yeah definitely this is far far too light right now so it would be pointless for me uh, to review it to apply it to my face because it just would not look right and you know color is important so yeah, but I really loved it how, how personalized they made it. So I also had in my PO box this book. Um, and I got a letter from Deborah saying, Dear Nisha, I have just published a new book, Thinking of a Cosmetic Procedure, which outlines the psychological issues often involved in making these decisions. As a psychotherapist, I have been providing independent emotional support to cosmetic patients since January 2000, and I do this voluntarily, without payment from patients. I would love to send you a copy of what well, you, you have. <laughs> um, so I haven't read it yet because like I said that came just before uh, before I went on holiday um, and basically this is not um, about putting people off cosmetic procedures or cosmetic surgeries but um, she campaigns for um, better safety and greater attention to the psychological aspects of cosmetic procedures. So um, I'm, I'm sure you all know of heads of people that are really addicted to it and are never happy. So I'm sure this is very um, helpful book. I'm going to read it and I will tell you what I thought about it. Um, that's all I've got to show you today. Uh, on my eyes I have Makeup Geek Foiled Eye Shadow. Can't remember which one. It's not the starry eyed, it's in a spotlight. Um, I have in a crease, I think, can't remember, but one of those brownie ones. And here I have an eyeshadow from the Naked Heat palette. Uh, so, yeah, it's a bit of a mixture. Um, I've I've noticed that when I'm tanned, when my face is darker, I don't really know what to do with my eyes, uh, with my eye makeup. Uh, the, th the, the looks that I like when I'm not tanned, um, I don't like with my tanned face. So it's been a bit of a hard one. It always is in the summer. Um, so yeah, I just go for like this sort of look. Um, every day or I just wear mascara to be honest. I'm going to do um, a video soon of like my June July favorites so I will let you know about all the products that I've enjoyed using throughout the summer including um, suntan lotions, um, fake tans and the makeup that I've been using the most. 
because you might be uh, might be surprised that in a summer I'm using more of a full coverage foundation than in the winter and I find that that's what I need because you know, I have quite uneven skin tone on my face and I have still some um, sun damage. Like, I used to have really bad melasma patches. If you've been with me for a long time, you, you might remember that whenever I would be doing my makeup in the summer, you could see these brown spots, the same ones that I have on my neck. You can't see it because I cover it with makeup and the one that I have on my chest. Um, but I really believe that since I've been using now for couple of years um, the Skin Deva Vitamin C Serum every day even this year after being on holiday in the sun my patches haven't come back like they used to be uh, but of course I get I am more freckly now and you know with the suntan and stuff like that and that's when I feel I need more coverage in the winter I feel I don't need really full coverage foundation uh, because my face is pale and all the sunspots and everything's faded out uh, so that's why, um, because I know most people use something less full coverage in the summer. But full coverage doesn't have to mean cakey and thick. That's why I like this foundation. It's very, very natural finish. Um, it's not really, I mean, you saw how it's quite liquidy. It's not like a thick, thick foundation. So I really like it. So yeah, so that's it for today. We're going, we are going away this weekend again. Um, I'm going up north to see my brother so um, yeah I see if I've got something else to show you or I will vlog a bit from there but for today that's it and I will see you later good morning everyone so we are on our way to Macclesfield we are going to visit my brother I'm sitting at the back with Louis because you know he's a very nervous passenger so so he likes to sit like glued to me. Unfortunately, it's supposed to rain all weekend. It's been so hot for two months now, but I suppose we need the rain. But anyway, we will still have a good time. Um, and I will see you a bit later. We just stopped at the motorway services, a toilet break, I don't know where Louis and Paul is. I don't know where they've gone. <laughs> I'm lost. Sugar, I'm lost. Have to go back. here now at my no. brother's these are my lovely nieces <laughs> This is my lovely brother. No, <laughs> I do that so you can <laughs> see. <laughs> this is my lovely brother. We look nothing alike. 
Thank God. Yes, and we don't, place is some and we don't sound anything place. alive because he has always been up north, so he's a proper northerner, and he's got northern accent, and I have southern accent. Polish monk? Polish, Polish cockney. Polish monk and Polish cockney. <laughs>